The salvos is your jam. That's where we're heading. Busy streets around here. Might be able to find yourself a jumper or a pair of gloves. Uh -huh. Hello. Hey. Checking out bus company books. It's a nice furniture. I think you're right. Yeah. Cute. Wow, look at all the pods up there. Look at the shishas. Oh, cool, the old school copper pots. Yeah. Uh, is this for like cooking eggs? I'm not sure. French iron it's like plate warmer or something, is it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Hmm. It's really heavy eggs, is it? I can barely lift that. It's really heavy. That 295. Cool. It's like a waffle maker. Look at this, it's like a waffle maker on. Is it actual silver? Maybe it is. Feels very light. Oh, that's hollow. That handle looks silver. Here's the box. Ooh la la. $10 a piece. That would be silver then. Silver fork for ten dollars. That's really cool though. That's nice. What is this? Antique something French copper plate warmer. Mm. So you put the plates in there. Or on top. Mm. And you put hot coals or something oh. in it. These oh, this teapot. How cool would it be if we had one of these teapots instead of our IKEA one? That would be amazing. Yeah. Probably cost a fortune though. It's beautiful. I like how it's like dented in the side. French copper tea kettle. That's nice. Was, was not a salvos at all. It must have been a church. A salvation army church. Oh yeah. And uh, we could have picked up that copper teapot for 250 bucks. Bargain. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. All the way along. It matches up with the roof. Yeah. <laughs> that is hilarious. Good observation, Bob. I really did like that tea kettle. Yeah, it was really nice. It was not two hundred and fifty dollars nice though. No, I think that shop might have been a bit of a rip. Yeah. It's a big one. There's oh. two of them. Hold on. Hello. Hello. I've got something for you. They're pretty big, aren't they? Yeah, they're very good here. Wow, he's looking for food too. Where? Just here. If you look at the beach, it's got a hook on it. Oh, it does too. Yeah. So you can only feed that one, Rob, not the other one? The no, one the that we're going to. What about this little fella? Do you want to give this little fella something? He'll come to the left. He'll come to the left over the beach. Here you go. Come around here. Here. They're so cute, he aren't they? Tea. Oh, he's trying to get that little piece down there. Uh, he's chilling out in a while. They're pretty big, aren't they? Can I try and feed him? He's got a lot to eat from there though. Yeah. Oh, look at this little fella. Uh. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I think. 
might be a bit difficult. You could try, find me the other way. You just gotta stand there for a while and sit in. <laughs> I'm not sure how else will be able to weather the cold. <laughs> The garden looks good in this weather. The garden looks really good. Do you feed them every morning? Yeah. No wonder they are happy eating out of your hand. They sing. Okay, I gotta go in. I'm cold. I can try? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, the phone's a little bit. Is it? What's that, a cat? No, mine's a flat white. Oh, flat white. Yeah, it's not like the finest of bubbles. Do you want any sugar? It's a little scratch. Hey, puss, puss. Hey, baby. It's all right. Hello, Baba. Got beautiful eyes. Hey, puss, puss. Hey, Baba. What? Sweet little thing, isn't it? Must be an outside cat because it's got one of those Hey, puss, puss, puss. Come on. Oh, he's a sweet little thing. As long as it doesn't bite me. Hey, puss, puss, puss. Hey, puss, puss. Please don't. I'm always worried about cats like biting me. No. <laughs> okay, cat. Well, I hope you just live there or something. Yeah. And you're not far from home, little friend. You should give it a pat. Oh, sorry, Bumsa. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of cats. I mean, very soft. Come there, baby. Oh, Bumsa. Oh, it's got cute little paws. They're like super pink. It's like cleaning himself. I just. Wondering why he's here. Right? Sure, he's alright. That's a normal cat thing to do. I think it's a normal cat thing to do. You're See you, right. Puss Puss. See you later. Hey, Bub, look, there's a little creek down here. Okay. Running water is always so like relaxing, isn't it? Mm. Was pe there's a dude just running behind you. Mm. Wow. And after all this rain, it's a babbling brook. Oh look, there's like bubbles and stuff down here too. Ooh. No. So this is called Aversford Nature Reserve. Aversford. Aversford? I think so. Yep. Wild dog, fox poison. And there's Chickens. a chicken. It's a wild bush chicken. A chucken. And a cute quail. Alright, let's go and have a look. No motorbikes, no horses, no dogs. Yeah, because they have the base. Cats and dogs. Oh. Cute. Look at all these little rocks and things. Like. It's cold. I have it? never been here. And I lived here for a year. Oh, wow, it's like a full dam. Probably an angry teenager. Me, an angry teenager? Yeah, at the time. Yes. Look at this. Oh, it, I was about to say the same thing. It's a beaver dam. <laughs> it's a beaver dam. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Looks like a swamp. A swamp. That's really cold. I wish I brought my beanie. Your beanie? I do, I wish I bought it. It's freezing. 
and I'm looking a little bit like a wild man at the moment because of my bearded face. Oh. The wild man! <laughs> if the wild man was really lame. Hey! <laughs> a lame wild man. It's quite crispy out here. Crispy cold. There's like a couple little picnic areas and stuff. And stuff. Looks like an old dam, doesn't it? So we just found this area, it's just like full of rocks. And this is where all the water's trickling out of. Hey? I have a feeling this is going to look really cool through here. I think this is a weir. Oh. Well, that was a bit underwhelming. It's full of water. It's nothing, and you can't climb along here either. Where's the fun in that? This smells a bit funky. Ready? Yeah. Go whenever you're ready. Your voice echoed through the forest, Haley. Pretty loud, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to come down this way? Sure. And give me a less than 20 second summary of what that poster said. I can't remember. Well, basically... <laughs> come on! <laughs> I can't really remember. They said remember. this is a huge dam. It was a huge yes. dam wall. Yes. And everyone thought... It was going to break, so they cut the hell out of it. They cut with a big, a diamond encrusted rope from there and knocked it, meters. 70 meter rope, and then knocked it all out. And this used to be full of water. So that explains everything. And now this is the tiny trickle of what's left of here. I guess at least all the habitat and everything came back, hey? Yeah. Because that's something that people forget about. Whether it's supposed to look like this or not is a different thing. Well, yeah. Whether it's the right habitat is a different thing. Yeah, that's true. Because maybe there would have been fish and stuff in the dam. Oh, well, I guess maybe these could all be weeds. They could totally all be weeds. Not native. Yeah. Well, no one's made any effort to plant anything down here. It's just all flat. Very cool. Kangaroo. This would be a good spot to fly an aeroplane. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Look at this. Look behind me. It's awesome. Am I going to pull my hood out of my jumper? No, because it's keeping my neck warm. Be careful you don't fall into a big slosh you down there. Hey, this is a giant animal of some description. Kangaroo poo. Look. Giant animal of some description. It's a T-Rex. Well, I don't know what it is. And here is a here's a raging river. You could turn this into a theme park. Raging River Rapids. Look, it's like a holly bush, but probably not. Maybe this is the Rock of Mudgee. The Rock of Mudgee. Oh, oh, there's a walking trail up there. They're actually walking the trail and we're just walking in this slushy yeah. slush Maybe pit. I want to see you fall down that hill. I don't want to go up that hill. No, I don't actually want to see you fall down a hill. Hmm. I'm gonna walk back. You know I would. Yeah, you probably would fall. <laughs> <laughs> that man's probably like, I'm just like making that really loud noise before. Because it's really irritating. I came out here for peace and quiet. And you just did not know me. It's easy to film out here because no one else is around judging us with a camera. Yeah. You can do it! And no whinging yet. Not yet. <laughs> Don't take me off any big hills. This is, this is kind of a hill. Someone's made a house down there, look. Huh. It's like a little tent. Oh. Did you want to check it out? Sure. Are you afraid? 
This no, could be like but Blair. You are obviously. This could be like Blair Witch. Okay. No. Not that I can see. It's pretty cool though. Maybe it's like a little wombat hole. There's clothes or something in there, Nico, isn't it? Clothes? I think it's his bark. Yeah. What do you do? Hey. <laughs> cool. It's a good one, that house. Could be cool. It's a wild something. That you know what that looks like? That looks like what's it called? Um African violet. Oh, Alright. Bye bye, creepy wooden tent. And broken beer bottles. Yeah. Oh, this would be slippy. So we're at a little place called the camping tree. Funnily enough, you're not allowed to uh, camp here. So I'm gonna find out what this is all about. All right, camping tree. Under this, under this tree, the first settlers of the Mudgee district. Jo George and something, Henry Cox, camps 12th of February 1822, dedicated to the central public by Mrs. Mackenzie something something 1921. There you go. So the first settlers of Mudgee camped here in 19, 1822, and this is the tree in all its glory. Kind of cool, huh? But you can't camp here. Not that you want it. Oh, maybe you could. It's pretty flat. It's kind of nice. But, yeah. This is Haley waiting in the car for me.